Oh, what is going on, guys? It is Mr. Banks coming at you live. What up, future millionaires in the making? I want to do a live trade recap and show you how easy it is to trade SPY. I want to break everything down super simple so you can understand how to take trades and make something that seems to be very confusing and complicated and make it very simple for you guys, right? So today I want to go over this 408 put call that we absolutely banked on. Have to give a big shout out to the team for running it up with us. Huge day for the Wolves. But guys, you guys came here to learn how to trade. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of this educational content that we put out on a daily basis. So let's go over and take a chart and break it down simple. I want to go over supply and demand, go over Fibonacci sequence, as well as just go over levels, right? I want to take something that seems complicated to you guys and make it something that is simple, right? Trading is simple if you let it be, right? Don't overcomplicate it. Stocks only do three things, guys. They will bounce, break, and reject. They will bounce off of a support, they will reject off a resistance or they will either break through a resistance and then find a support or they'll break through a support and then find a resistance, right? So stocks only do three things when it comes down to it. Make it simple, guys. So puts today, what is something to look at uh, when we're taking trades, right? So one of the big things to look at is the opening print, right? Opening print should always be a level that is drawn on your chart here. Big, big level at this opening print here. You should also be drawing the pre-market lows, right? Pre-market lows. You could also draw yesterday's lows, which is pretty much the opening print here. And then as well as pre-market high, but pre-market high didn't get hit. Um, so that is just not gonna be in our trade plan, uh, trade recap for today since it was not valid for the trade. So the first thing I want to take a look at after we've drawn our levels, guys, right? So we want to do pre-market low, pre-market high, opening print, yesterday's low, and yesterday's high. Those are going to be the top five things to always, always, always have on your screen, right? So pre-market high, pre-market low, yesterday's high, yesterday's low and opening print burn this in your brain do this every single day have all of these charted levels out on your screen for whatever stock you are trading pre-market high pre-market low yesterday's high yesterday's low opening print have these always drawn on your screen guys always 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 i'm gonna burn this into you Always have these drawn. All right, let's get into supply now. What 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 is a supply zone? So I already have this marked for you guys, but what is a supply zone? Supply or demand? In this instance, we used supply. So what we're looking at is pretty much a balance between buyers and sellers happening, right? So pretty much a chop, right? That we can see here. Pretty much chop, right? There is a battle or a balance between buyers and sellers. And what do we want to see to show that this is a true zone? We want to see a big move out of this zone, guys, a big move out. Now, I like to use the two minute for my entries. So that is why I am on the two minute time frame. So when we see these zones, right, these balances between buyers and sellers, we want to see a move out of that zone, that's going to show us that, that, okay, that is a supply zone, that is a demand zone. So again, we want to see a balance between buyers and sellers, and then a big move out of it, right? So a big move out of that zone. So what happened today after the opening was we created pretty much a nice sub intraday supply zone right here. So big supply zone right here. So understand that concept, right? A balance between buyers and sellers and a big move coming out of it, right? As we can see right here, balance, big move out of it. So love to use the two minute for my entries. 
Uh, two minute or five minute can show you these supply or demand zones intraday. So we're talking about smaller time frame supply and demand zones uh, for intraday trading. Now they could always line up with the big picture uh, zones. So for instance, here on SPY, if we went to that big picture, right? We have this big supply zone, which what do you know? We're getting a big move out of it, right? We came into the supply zone again. So we're on the daily now, big picture. So the big picture was showing us sell off, right? Was showing us, we're getting this big move out of this supply zone, right? We came back into it. Now we're getting another sell into it. Every time we've come up here, except for this little anomaly, uh, we've had a pretty much big sell, right? So big move out of here, big move out of here, big move out of here and then big move out of here, right? So now we're getting another move out of this supply zone. So here's the big picture supply zone here on SPY. That 410 was the beginning of it, right? The bottom of this big supply. Uh, and we're getting a sell-off out of it. So we knew 410, big level, right? From this big picture supply. Um, and then now let's go back down to our micro level, right? And now we have our micro supply. So right above our big 410 level, but this is our intraday supply level that we should be looking at. So I hope that makes sense to everybody. You're seeing that balance, big move out of it, nice supply. So when we come back to retest this supply zone, you would think more than like we're going to get a sell off out of this supply zone, right? The risk to reward is there. We're below the opening print, right? So the opening print acts like a pivot point level, right? Kind of like VWAP, like people use VWAP. If we're below that opening print level, more than likely going to stay bearish. If we're above that opening print level, more than likely going to get bullish, right? So we're below that level looking bearish. We are hitting this big intraday supply Great, also bearish. Um, and the last thing to look at, which is a tool that you can use, is the Fibonacci retracement. Now, the golden zone is going to be a 50%. Stocks love to retrace 50% and either sell back off or if we're coming down, retrace 50% down and bounce. So 50% to this golden zone of 61%, right? This 0.618 right, is the golden zone. So not only are we coming back into this intraday supply, we are, we rejected absolutely on the money off of this golden zone on the Fibonacci retracement. So we're below that opening print. We are coming back into the supply and we're hitting this retracement of this golden zone on that Fibonacci retracement. So we have three big things going for us and the reason why we took puts on the day, right? So I hope this makes a lot more sense. I hope that we took something that seems very complicated and broke it down to something that's more simple, right? Levels are a big thing. Pre-market high, like we talked about, right? So always have these levels drawn. Pre-market high, pre-market low, yesterday's high, yesterday's low and opening print, right? The opening print, uh, if we get underneath the pre-market low and yesterday's low, right? That's bearish. If we get above pre-market high and yesterday's high, that's bullish. Opening print will also act as a pivot point level. Uh, support, bounce to take calls ahead higher or reject if we're below uh, to keep getting short, right? That's going to be our major pivot level. So levels are there for you to use. So we're below that opening print. We had that intraday supply. So not only on the bigger picture of this supply zone on SPY, are we selling off at, right? Are we selling off and getting weak out of this supply? So the bigger picture we're selling off, bigger picture supply is there and we're entering it and selling off. But the intraday supply is there and we're retracing back into it. So bigger picture, we're selling off of this major supply, smaller picture, we're coming back and 
going to retest this supply intraday supply zone. So if we're already selling off on the bigger picture of supply, more than likely on the intraday supply zone, we're going to retrace. If we get a nice retrace, which we did, more than likely we're going, we're going to enter into it and get a sell off of the supply. We're below the opening print bearish. We're getting back into that supply, expecting a sell off. And the last thing we can use is the high of the day to the most recent low, right? Uh, of the open, entering into this nice golden zone, perfect reject off of the golden zone of this Fibonacci retracement. So we had three, if you're using the bigger picture, four big things, right? That makes trading simple. We're using these confluences to make trading simple, right? To make trading simple. Pre-market low and after we rejected, right? Where could we not get back above? That pre-market low, which showed us, okay, we're more than likely going to continue lower, which we did, like we talked about with levels, guys. Know those levels that I talked about. Look for intraday supply. Look for bigger picture supply or demand. Um, in this case, we, we use supply since we were heading lower, selling off. And you could also use the high of the day to the most recent low for a nice Fibonacci retracement into a golden zone to also have that confluence to take a trade. So hope you guys enjoyed. I really appreciate you guys being here, trying to make trading spy simple for everyone because it is complicated, but you can actually make it simple if you know what you are looking at. Use these confluences together to create a trade plan to take a high probability setup. Now, not all the time do trades work out, but if we use confluences for a high probability setup, they're going to work out more often than not. And that is the goal when it comes to trading. Hope everyone banked today. If you didn't, I'll see you guys in the wolf so we could teach you how to trade better and you can come bank with us. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time. My name is Mr. Banks. Have a good night.